Also tonight, getting action, hundreds gathered outside a city council meeting in Pleasantville, demanding the permanent shutdown of a strip club there. 19-year-old Irving Mayron Guzman was last seen outside that club one month ago today. His body was found after days of searching. NBC 10's Matt DeLucia was at tonight's meeting where that club's license was revoked. And he's live in Pleasantville with reaction from Guzman's family. Matt. The family says it's been a very difficult month with plenty of questions. Tonight, they only wanted one thing, to see to it that Centerfold's Cabaret never reopens. The reaction just before 9 o'clock tonight was perhaps the first moment of joy for a crowd demanding justice for the better part of a month. Irving Maran Guzman went to Centerfold's Cabaret January 23rd, the last night he was seen alive. Video was played at tonight's city council meeting of Irving at the club. Mi hijo Irving. His mother blames the club and security for allowing the 19-year-old inside and to drink alcohol. Irving's brother called the strip club neglectful. The power is in your hand. At issue tonight was Centerfold's mercantile license and whether to revoke it. Centerfold's closed on its own after Irving's body was found days later in a marsh. An attorney for the club spoke to the family for the first time. I want to express from me to you the sorrow and the grief that the owner has and employees. Three men are accused of assaulting Irving the night he disappeared, although there's no word yet on an official cause of death. Outside, protesters watch a projection of the meeting on the side of City Hall, waiting for the moment council voted to revoke the license, shuttering centerfolds for good. Yes. Irving's mother was left in tears. My son, my family is everything for me. It was my son. The family says they have been through hell. We want our brother back, like we don't. Um, but but this is the right step. Like this is a good direction for us. In Pleasantville, Matt Delusia, NBC 10 News.